I ain't finna stress myself out no more. <laughs> I'm simply not. <sighs> Y'all, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on in my life right now, but <laughs> it's just so much going on. We're just gonna hop right into it. We're just gonna do a cute little get ready with me you know as you can see it's content day so i have my cute little outfit on you know just doing my makeup right now and just wanted to chat with you guys and make sure you guys you know follow me on my instagram so you guys can see my outfit duh but we're gonna try um we're gonna try to do underpainting okay because you know it's been a while and i just want to um, just do something fun <clears throat> for my makeup. <clears throat> okay, so obviously we're gonna do some priming. Okay, we're gonna use, there we go, Smashbox Photo Finish um, Control with their, their mattifying primer. Yeah, you know, uh, like I said, I just wanted to chat with y'all and see how things are going. And just kind of do like a little mini life update <clears throat> while I do my makeup. Um, so pretty much what's been going on in my life right now is that God is really shifting me. Okay. Um, he is just taking control of you know my life and just where i want to go now a few scratch the underpainting i'm just gonna do my normal makeup <laughs> but um a few um days ago not days a few weeks ago maybe about a month um a month ago i was really feeling so down about what you know what direction that I wanted to take my content and all that kind of stuff <clears throat> you know comparison compare comparison comparing myself to other creators you know that's just something I should that I wouldn't recommend at all 10 out of 10 would not recommend doing and um you know, like, just be like, oh my gosh, this person is, is here. This person is doing that. Um, this person is on this brand trip, you know, and I wanted to be, <clears throat> you know, I want to, I want to be where they're at. And I really had to have a talk with myself and just being like, girl, where they're at they worked so hard to get there you're not gonna get there just because you said that you want to be and then you know even with that you know even with knowing that i got so mad at god i was like god you placed this on my heart to be this content creator to do all of these things like i this is not something that I had planned on doing and I don't think you guys know this but like I was planning on getting my master's in um clinical mental health you know because um I was going through postpartum with my first and um postpartum depression with my first kid and I was like you know what this is something that um I didn't know mother a lot of mothers you know, go through, I want to, I want to help. And just knowing the, um, the statistics for black mothers <clears throat> and, you know, black maternal health and all that kind of stuff. I was like, you know what? I really want to advocate for that. And I still do. That's just, you know, um, that is part of my, um, the reason why I started, you know, being present on all of my platforms but 
you know, as time went on, like I started in 2018. So as time went on, you know, just shifting my focus on my content, I was like, mm, I don't want to be a mom influencer. You know, I don't feel comfortable like it, you know, kind of like exploiting my kids for con for content and like making money off of them. Now, granted, there are mom influencers who do it and do it very well and do it very tastefully and shout outs to them. But that is not my ministry. And that and I'm okay with that. <laughs> um so, you know, when I had that conversation with God, I was like, um, hello, like this is this is what you told me to do. Why is it taking so long to get to where I know that I can go? Like it's like you're not you're not helping me out here, Big G, and I don't appreciate that. Like this isn't this this isn't this isn't cool. Like, you know, this is where I want to go. This is, I have the, now I have all the equipment and all this kind of stuff. But now it's just like, it feels like it's too late because everybody and their mama want to be influencers. And there's nothing wrong with that. But now it just feels like it's super, super saturated now. Um, and I guess I'm going back to underpainting. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it just feels like it's super, super saturated now and there's no, um, there's no more, there's no time, there's no space for me. That's what I was feeling like. I'm like, there's no more space for me. I'm never going to be able to do this. Like, God, like, why did you put this on my heart to do? And, you know, I was really, really just going through it because I didn't know where I what I wanted to do with my content and where I wanted it to go. I feel like I was all over the place, just so confused on what I wanted to do. And, you know, God was literally just letting me have my moment, having me, letting me have my temp, my temper tantrum, pretty much, you know, he was like, I'm just going to let her say what she needs to say, let her, let her get it off of her chest. And, you know, I'm glad that he did. I'm glad that, you know, I was, I, I am, I am glad that I was able to have, you know, an honest conversation with God and being like, hello, like, you brought me here. You brought me through this journey. Why am I struggling? And then, you know, with my last video that I posted for you guys, y'all, it was a struggle struggle okay like <clears throat> I have recorded it I got this my husband got me this this new camera and um and I absolutely love him for that <laughs> and um it wasn't in focus at all like the entire time it was not in focus so I was like oh my gosh like this is just ridiculous like I spent 30 minutes recording and it was not in focus the entire time y'all the entire time it was not in focus and I was so angry like when I tell you y'all like I cried like I literally was boohooing I was like I don't want to do this anymore I'm over this like this is ghetto like I'm never going to be like a content creator. Like, listen, your girl was going through it. Okay. <clears throat> when I tell you I boohoo cried, listen, <clears throat> it was, it was, it was bad. Okay. It was really bad because I literally spent all that time and it just wasn't in focus. So you know, that's just like the struggles of like trying to figure out a new camera. Still, praise God that I figured it out. But in that moment, I was like, I was so angry. I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And God bless my husband because, you know, he allowed me to just cry and do what I needed to do in that moment 
But like, you know, later on, you know, I found out that, you know, he was like, I'm not going to let her give up. Like, he was just like, I'm going to let her have her moment, but she's not going to give up. I'll do whatever it is that I can to make sure that she doesn't give up. Pretty much. That was his thought process. And I appreciate him for that. <laughs> but because trust and believe, child, your girl was going to give up. Okay? Give all the way up. <laughs> And, you know, I was so, so mad. Oh, I should have blended that out first. And afterwards, after getting, you know, figuring that out and stuff, my husband, he had sent me a devotional. And one of the passages was about Job. Now, you know, for the believers, y'all know the story of Job. But for the non-believers or people, you know, who haven't read their Bibles in a little bit, <laughs> um, the story of Job really, you know, he just was going through it in every sense of the word. Okay. And he, you know, they did everything like God and the enemy did everything they could to test him, you know, to make him curse God. And God was like, no, that's my child. My child's not going to curse me at all. Like, I know my child. And the enemy was like, mm, I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure that he curses you. And God was like, mm, try if you want to, but it's not going to. But, you know, it's OK. You know, um, God was just like, girl, like, I got you. I know what it is that I am doing. I know the plans that I have for you. It is to prosper you and give you, you know, a better future. Like, you have to trust in me. And I was like, mm, I trust you, God, I guess. But no, God was like, no, you have to trust in me. Because best trust and believe, shot it. <laughs> I was not trusting. I was not trusting in him. I was not being like Job. I was not trusting in him. When I honestly should have been trusting in God. Because God knows, knows best. Pretty much. He knows best. And I just wasn't believing in him. And, you know, I was just doing, I was doing all of that for no reason. For real, for real. Because in the end, it all worked out. And I don't know if you guys remember me saying how literally in, every, in almost every single one of my videos, I'm always talking about how like my family and I were sick we're sick we're sick like just always going through some kind of sickness and then it made me thinking back it's just like bruh we was going through some spiritual war warfare and I didn't even know God was just like girl uh hello wake up shawty you are going through spiritual warfare like wake up the enemy is trying to get you and your family wake it up and I really had to get myself together and be like, um, enemy, you don't belong here. <laughs> Shawty, you gotta go. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of my family not being sick. So I literally just felt like Job since the beginning of the year. And oof, this, under, this underpainting is turning out real nice. <clears throat> Since the year started, when I tell y'all, I've been feeling like Job, I have been feeling like Job, okay? And I just want, I'm telling you guys this to kind of encourage y'all to just be like, listen, God has it under control, okay? He has it under control. All you got to do is just trust in him. That's all you got to do. And I know it's so hard, especially when you have a plan, you have a set plan of your life or what you want your life to be like, what, you know, your journey and all that kind of stuff. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to let go and let God pretty much. <laughs> but we have to, because when you're sitting there, you're not letting go and you're not letting God, you're stressing yourself out. For no reason, child. Be, trust me. 
because just this whole content creator journey of mine, like when I tell you stressing myself out over little things that really I don't need to stress myself about because God already told me this is what, you know, this is my journey. This is what I need to do. This is what he wants me to do. And so why am I stressing myself out? For why? Because <laughs> God already said what he said. This is what he wants me to do. He will give me the tools necessary. And all I got to do is just trust in him. That's it. All I got to do is just trust that he will provide for me. You know, the numbers, the, the views, the followers, whatever you want to call it. Um, have no say in, um, in what God says. None at all. So why am I tripping? And obviously, it's easier said than done, y'all. Okay? I am literally just, just talking. Okay? Like, it's easier said than done. Because I am far from perfect. Okay? Oh, this is really cute. This is Sephora Charged Up um, Longwear Liquid Eyeshadow. I am far from perfect, okay? But I know the kind of God that I serve. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> I know, I can tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, I know the God that I serve. And he is a good God. He is a good, good God. And he will not lead me astray. So, <clears throat> as I prepare... For this content day you know posting pictures it's really gloomy outside so you know I'm gonna do what I can <clears throat> but, you know I just want to encourage y'all kind of you know just catch up with you guys I, I'm trying to hurry up because my camera is about to die I just wanted to really encourage y'all for real for real because I know I'm not the only person that's going through it right now it just seems like there's so many people going through it and I just want to encourage y'all for real for real that God is in control and everything will work out for his good and your glory Whatever it is that God has placed on your heart, he placed it on your heart for a reason. It's there for a reason. God would not lead you astray. He would not just be like, bloop, that's what I want you to do and just leave you there. No, that's not how God works. He will give you the tools necessary to, to succeed. You know, God... God never wants us to fail. What God wants, he wants us to trust in him. That's what he wants. For real, for real. God wants us to trust in him. And as long as you trust in him, everything will be all right. You know, I am shifting my mindset I am shifting my focus to God and what God wants me to do. You know, I ain't. I ain't finna stress myself out no more. <laughs> I'm simply not. Because that's not what God wants me to do. <laughs> and that's all I want. Mary and her little lambs. <laughs> And this is the final look. What y'all think? Cute. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Like I said, this is just for encouragement purposes. I want you guys to stay encouraged, you know, and just whatever it is that's on your heart that you want to do in life, whether it's creating content, you know, being an influencer, you know, creating, um, you know, an app, website, whatever it is. It's on your heart for a reason and you have you have the tools necessary to succeed. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.